Pop, 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 shpoom, baby. I'm really jacked up. I just watched a video on the Associative Law. Gained like 40,000 experience points in one go. It's action, object, duality. The elements of an algebra can be action or an object. Also, I just had coffee, so I'm just extra excited. We got a big day planned. This kind of doesn't have much to do with it. Just, I'll link the video below, though. It's a phenomenal video on the Associative Law. Starting to make a little bit of sense. Now I can do the pretentious thing, where how does it not make sense, you fool? <laughs> it's the Associative Law. It's obvious. It's trivial. Anyway, roll the intro clips, baby. All right, just read like two hours of mathematical logic. Really new to the field though, so I can't really give any insights. Just it gets very abstract. <laughs> it intentionally so. It takes the meaning. It wants to get the meaning out of mathematics. It wants to take abstract symbols and push them around, which I, I'm not a huge fan of. But get it for like logical consistency. It's important. But yeah, I don't want to go too far in there because I feel like then you know at least to a postmodernist philosophy <laughs> of like, oh, art can just be like shapes and stuff, which is just absolutely foolish. <laughs> no one wants to stare at a big blue line. I'm just gonna be honest. But I understand you need to integrate both. So formalist logical approach. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Uh, it goes over mathematical systems and whatnot, but. I'm not gonna go too far into it right now because I'm probably gonna butcher it. However, I wanna go into a presentation and I'm gonna go check if the engineering building is open. And if not, I'll just do it at home. But ideally the engineering building's open because I can do more on the blackboard. Yeah, let's go do that. Holy shit guys, it's the peacock again. I remember you. I had absolutely no idea these guys could live here. They also can fly, which who would have thought, really? Bingo. No! Good. <sighs> All right, so the engineering building was open, but unfortunately the classrooms were closed and uh, I haven't used any other classrooms for presentations yet. Most of them have whiteboards and that's just not going to cut it. Come on, not going to work. Chalk's the way to go. I'm going to go over the associative law when I get home. Just some insights I had today. I don't know it completely, but insights I had and then maybe a little bit of mathematical logic that I was pondering today, but definitely a pragmatic in the moment explanation because I just started basically that, that adventure today. So that's going to be uh, going to be a wild ride. See you there. The unfortunate fact when you dive down into it is that mathematics is built up on fluff. We dove down into it. We want to find truth. We're curious people. It's kind of, the, it seems to be that's the people who are doing math. Truth seekers. You dive down into it. We want to find the fundamental truths so that we can build up more complicated truths from these fundamental truths. And we look for the fundamental truths and the fundamental truths turn out to just be made up, kind of. They're not made up per se. Between any two points, you can draw a straight line. That's like a, you know, that's like, okay, yeah, fair enough. That seems to be a thing I can map onto the real world, but we abstract it away. We take it away from the real world examples and it's like, oh, it's just a made up kind of thing we're doing here. Okay. And then you're like, well, what is a point? How far down can we go? Is there a way of going down farther? And it's like, not, when you drill down to it, you need to have some undefined terms and undefined ways of relating those terms, which sucks. I'm not a fan. It's like, oh, damn it. Like we were looking for the, looking for truth and bedrock and we dug to bedrock and now bedrock is just just like not bedrock <laughs> but what can you do so logic as far as I can tell it just accepts that sauce with with vigor it's like all right fuck it fine if it's uncertain if it's meaningless fine we'll we'll do it that way then if it's arbitrary fine we will do it that way bring it on math the book I was just reading it's like okay we're just gonna scrap all the intuition away you silly little human putting putting meaning on words and symbols no 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 what you're doing is just a meaningless game where you have some symbols you start with some symbols and then there's some undefined terms and undefined ways of relating those terms and some stuff you have to start with and then from that there's rules for what moves you can make. So you can make moves from this starting state of things. You can say, you can do these valid things. And then from there, and this is ways of combining symbols effectively. And then from there, you can prove theorems and you can check if the theorem is valid based on the certain rule set of the logical system. And then that's pretty much what you're doing with math. You're just shifting around symbols, you useless piece of shit. <laughs> 
yeah, I'm not a huge fan right now. It definitely is going to be important. It just, it, I guess it's cognitively difficult because I'm trying to make an intuitive concept literal. Carl Jung says, make the unconscious conscious. It's tough, tough process for sure. Because I, I thought, I thought my logic was okay. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, apparently, apparently we gotta, we gotta dive into it. So we're diving into it. Meaningless symbols is what it is. Very postmodern arty. Yeah. So it's just a game and then there's moves from that game, but we're treating it like a, like a mathematical, it's just a game. You got some symbols and you have some movements you can make. So it's like, and then it's like shifting stuff around. You have a set, a state, kind of a starting state, your axioms and terms and stuff and then you have ways of moving from that state to other states and that is mathematical logic part of it there's other other parts it gets really big which is unfortunate because i thought logic was like a pretty like oh just use logic but apparently not no no no. logic is like this super strange and folding in on itself process so <sighs> turns that's like freaking everything even they don't have sets you know it's like sets i uh, like everybody's like oh yeah set they just toss some stuff in there no no no, no. there's like axiomatic set theory and there's whole volumes on it. it's like oh come on it's just a set i'm just let me have a set sets are chill and then like functions it's like there's just absolutely quirked up functions are just ridiculous like a, a function that's continuous everywhere but differentiable nowhere and then there's a guy showed me this function the other day where it was like you draw all you draw is horizontal lines and yet it becomes continuous it's like you draw a horizontal line it's like from zero to one and and so you start you go from zero to one and you draw like a bunch of horizontal lines and it's like you take the limit towards infinity as you do that it makes a continuous line it's like what, what? <sighs> just give me normal like y goes x squared just give me that i don't know i I'm, <sighs> you know everything gets all just broken and shit, but we're diving in ladies and gentlemen so we're gonna at least i don't know if that's useful if it's not useful then like whatever it's a cool puzzle but logic fucking sucks and then a little bit of associative law but i think i already gave it basically in the middle the main idea today that i got was object action duality an element of an algebra is an object and then it's also a thing that can act on other objects so it's both a function and a state it can be a thing in and of itself it's like blah and then it also does stuff to other states so it does both it's like matter and energy it's like object action same kind of principle it's kind of interesting definitely have a bunch of threads of ideas in my head though so we're gonna associate law we're gonna crack that nut wide open it's gonna be fantastic it's gonna be uh, just tropical through the roof let me tell you but that's gonna be all for today. I gotta edit this and then go to bed as per usual. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, take it easy. I love you. Godspeed. And I will see you in the next one, which is going to be tomorrow. Right up now. The funk soul brother. Check it out now. The funk soul brother. Right about now. The funk soul brother. Check it out now. The funk soul brother. Right about now. The funk soul brother. Check it out now. Funk soul brother, right about now. The funk soul brother, right about now, about now, about now.